Hi, my name is Shaz Hussain, and I'm going to show you how I use the incredible game control mixer from One Switch and Celtic Magic to play Gran Turismo Sport and Ace Combat. The Game Control Mixer is a revolutionary system for the accessible gaming community, which allows you to create your own game control setup. Developed by two legends by the name of One Switch and Celtic Magic. The Game Control Mixer allows you to connect a number of switches, sensors and joysticks to make gaming suitable for your own needs. To find out more about the Game Control Mixer, you can watch the introduction by clicking on the card in the top right hand corner. Or clicking on the first link below this video. So I would like to show you how I start off right from the beginning. So when the PlayStation is on, I like to have the first joystick on the D-pad setting so that I can easily navigate through the menus. I could use the left analog stick as well, but I find the D-pad saves me more energy when I get into the actual game. More on this later. With regards to my switch setup, I like to have my left switch on the circle button. This lets me use the handbrake easier. The next switch to my left is the X button, which lets me select menus. Following on from that, I like to have the triangle button so that I can reverse when I need to, but also not have the switch in the way of the other switches. The white switch is the game control mixer shift button, which lets me change modes easily and quickly. And then I have my main joystick followed by my second joystick, which I will use in game for driving. Again, more on that later. So let's get to the game. Right, so here we are in the main menu of GT. And as you can see, if I move my first joystick, the mouse on screen jumps to the next available option. However, if I set the joystick to the left analog stick, it acts more like a traditional mouse, which for me means more work. So I'm going to put it back to D-pad mode and start a race. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to select time trial. So now we are at the pre-race menu and this is what I find great about having two joysticks. In the past I had to go to the option start race and then flick a switch on the arcade stick to write analog stick. Whereas now I can set my second joystick to the GCM driving mode and still use the other joystick for menu options. So now if I press start I can simply use the second joystick to start racing and use my left hand to press X. 
This lets me get a grip of the joystick before I'm thrown into the race. The GCM driving mode lets me use the joystick's up position to accelerate and down to brake. With left and right being steering. The switch on the left lets me use the handbrake whenever I need to. And triangle for getting out of sticky situations. Such as this. One of the best things about the game control mixer and being able to create my own gaming setup is that I can take advantage of this to play games in VR. By knowing where each switch and joystick is around me and it being intuitive for me. I now don't have to look at where the controls are which lets me use the VR headset. Let me show you this now. So as you can see, I have my PSVR headset on. And I'm now in the VR version of the main menu. As I've set my first joystick to the D-pad mode, I can now use it to navigate the menus without looking at it. So let's get into VR mode in GT. Once again, I'm going to do a time trial. As you can see, navigating the menus is the same principle with regards to using the first joystick and then the X switch to select what I want. Here comes the fun part. So now that I'm inside the virtual car, I can look around as you would in VR. And by using the second stick, I can start driving. Again, the left switch lets me do handbrake turns as and when I need to and the triangle button lets me reverse. So let me do a lap so that you can get the full effect.
With Gran Turismo being such a realistic game and the game control mixer being so flexible, whenever I feel less competitive but still fancy a drive, I can stick the GCM to slow driving mode, which is a less sensitive version of the driving mode. Ideal if you fancy a Sunday drive. Much like the previous versions of Gran Turismo, in GT Sport you have the ability to take in-game photos with a realistic camera setup, which is also something I like to do. In photo mode, the left analog stick lets you walk around the scene and the right analog stick lets you turn the camera in any direction. Once again, before the game control mixer, I had to keep walking around and flicking the switch of the arcade stick to then look around and see if I was in the right place. But now, not only can I use two sticks at once, but I can also take advantage of the GCM Explore mode to use one joystick for both. Okay, so now that we have had a drive, how about we take to the skies and get into Ace Combat? The white button not only lets me change the joystick mode on the game control mixer, but it also lets me use the switches for other buttons that you would find on a standard PS4 controller. So if I press the shift button and the X button, I can bring up the PlayStation options. As you can tell, whenever I press the shift button, the LED compass turns purple so that I know it is in shift mode. When it comes to the game control mixer, I like to set my one so that it has a latching shift, which means that I can press it once to go to shift mode and then change modes or press a button before pressing shift again to come out of shift mode. The other alternative would be to keep my hand on the shift button whilst doing this. But I find doing this more difficult. So now I can go up to close application and then hit X to come out of the game. So Ace Combat is a game which I have been a fan of for many years, but when I paired it up with the game control mixer, it just took it to another level. <laughs> Let's get into the game and have a look.
As you can As you can see, and much like other games, even though Ace Combat lets you change the controls, it doesn't let you change the button configuration to suit your needs completely, which used to be a nightmare for me. Now I can use the game control mixer to get around this and take advantage of the two joysticks and the switches to really take off. I usually set the acceleration and your controls options to type B. The reason why I choose type B is when I accelerate, I occasionally accidentally change views. Whereas now, I can set the first joystick to the W3 setting, which lets me use L1 and R1 to accelerate and brake without changing view. More on this later. Like Gran Turismo, Ace Combat also has a VR mode. So in order to not make this video too long, I'm going to show you how I play in VR, thanks to the game control mixer. When it comes to Ace Combat, I like to have my right hand joystick set to the left analog stick and have the second joystick to the GCM W3 mode. The W3 mode is a mix of L1 and R1 buttons, including L3, which I will be using to accelerate and brake. I can navigate easily through the menu using the second joystick and the X button. Ace Combat is very heavy on the pre-game dialogue, so I will cut to the start of the mission. So as you can see, we are now on an aircraft carrier getting ready to take off. In order to take off, we have to accelerate, which is where my first joystick comes into play. By pushing the joystick towards the right, I can engage the thrust and then take off. Once we're in the sky, I use my second joystick for the flight controls. Pushing the joystick left and right lets me roll, and by pushing the joystick up and down lets me raise and lower the pitch of the aircraft. So once again I'm accelerating using my first joystick as I look for the bad guys and then once they are on my radar I have to wait until I get close enough for a lock on them. My left hand switch is still connected to the circle button of the GCM which acts as the missile trigger button. The X button fires the guns and the triangle button lets me change target of the missile lock. So now that I have got a red square it means that I have got a lock. And thanks to the game control mixer I can quickly press the missile trigger button with my left hand without having to let go of the joystick in my right hand. I can't tell you how much this adds, not only to the ease when compared to past playing, but also to the overall authentic experience. It is amazing and I couldn't do this without the game control mixer. Fuck 
Missile fired. Missile. Missile. Before I get too dizzy, I hope that this video has given you a bit of an insight as to how incredible the game control mixer is. And the endless possibilities that it can provide for gamers with disabilities. It really is a game changer in more than one sense. If you fancy finding out more about the Game Control Mixer, then check out the OneSwitch website at oneswitch.org.uk or the Celtic Magic website celticmagic.org and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates.